Welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jada. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. Starting this August with the launch of the 2022-2023 school year, the start and end times for five Charles County public elementary schools will change to an earlier or later schedule. The affected schools include C. Paul Barnhart, Dr. Gustavus Brown, Daniel of St. Thomas Jennifer, T.C. Martin, and J.P. Ryan Elementary Schools. The changes will accommodate transportation needs associated with the move of the T.C. Martin Elementary School students to the transition school, as well as increased transportation needs as part of regionalized program expansions. Oh, baby. Local mothers have been impacted by a national baby formula shortage in recent weeks, but that hasn't stopped the general public from stepping up. The shortage will apparently have been caused by an ABUT laboratory shutdown of a facility in Michigan in February has some local mothers desperate. Lauren Ennis, Communications Director for CareNet Pregnancy Center of Southern Maryland, based in Lexington Park, said they've had doubled and tripled the number of women showing up for baby supplies, namely baby formula. Cooperation brings funding for a new project federal, state, and county leaders converged on the Charles County Government Building to celebrate a massive investment into a future light rail program for Southern Maryland. About $5 million in federal funds from the fiscal 2022 budget were funneled into the project to facilitate the planning, design, engineering, and environmental review processes for the service. Men's Health Day event is set. The St. Mary's County Department of Aging and Human Services will host its first Men's Health Day event on Saturday, June 4th, commemorating National Men's Health Month in June. This event will be held from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Garvey Senior Activity Center, 23630 Hayden Farm Lane, Leonardtown. Along with the guest speakers, Men's Health Day will feature informational displays, health screenings, and lunch provided by Mission Barbecue. Now turning to sports. At Regency Furniture Stadium this Wednesday night, Patuxent High School fought back from a one-run deficit by scoring three in the third, getting the Panthers a 3-1 win against Liberty High School Lions. The Panthers were locked in a very challenging and close game for, with the fifth-seeded Lions. For the Panthers head coach Kevin Powell, this win was just another example of the resilience his team has shown throughout the season. Head coach Powell states, We've been down a lot. The last probably four or five games, we've been down and we don't quit. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jada. Signing off.